Um, actually, I cannot believe my eyes uh, what I saw when I opened this box. Um, I thought I will never see this. Uh, I th thought it never come to fruition, and I was wrong. So you will wa you are wondering what is that? Uh, what what's what's going on here? So essentially, this is something that I was uh, backed up on a Kickstarter somewhere at the end of 2013, maybe even like. I don't even remember when, when was it exactly. Uh, I think September, September, October 2013. And I supposed to, or we supposed to, backers get it like January 2014 or something like that, or February 2013. Sorry, 2014. But hey, today is like November 2017. Uh, actually, I got it, you know, in October, like last day of October. And I finally got it. Uh, maybe this is, you know, took a little bit of shipping from United States of America to Canada, but here we are. So, what is it? Oh, check this out. Let me pull this. I already obviously opened it. That's why I like. So this is Fluter. I don't know how many people know in this world what is Fluter. Uh, so essentially, gonna give you like. Uh, two words about it. So Fluter is the wireless um, prototyping board. Similar, it's Arduino compatible, uh, but runs, uh, I think it runs Cortex-M3 uh, CPU or MCU, and it is uh, to connect two Arduino compatible uh, Fluters, and you can, you know, run some data between them. It runs uh, over uh, about like 900 megahertz. Uh, um, frequency and this is roughly what it is so back at the time I was thinking to use it for uh, to control my quadcopters or a little remote robot like four years ago obviously that project never come to fruition and um, uh, the robot little robot or and and my quadcopters are actually seeing they're collecting dust because I use Bluetooth for that and that's not interesting for me anymore. <laughs> like four years later, I actually got that stuff. So let's check what it is. So first of all, uh, before we get diving uh, into some technical details, let's, uh, um, let's first of all look what's inside, but let's first read this paper. So the guy actually thanks people and you see who whose hard work and support through 2013 so this thing runs it has a history um actually was somewhat following what's going on with the um his developing of this um wireless prototyping board um i think they had some issues with hardware they also had say had some issues with regulations fcc regulation and things like that so it, and i think the guy was actually doing it on its own or almost on its own so kudos for him um i think his name Tyler if I'm not mistaken uh, Tyler or oh, here Tyler Alexander so kudos to him he actually made it and I I'm actually really proud of this guy because he actually um, delivered oh my god this he, like you know four years later come on all right so let's put this aside all sentiments aside too let's look into hardware so we have a bunch of stuff in this little box so I'm gonna pull out everything let's pour it out over here, this, I don't need this, this is my address over there. And so what do we have? We have a few boards. Here's a one of them. So we have also several uh, like breadboards of some sort. So I, I think uh, it's prototype, prototyping boards. I have like actually several of them. If, if I'm not mistaken, I have like five. Honestly, I don't remember ordering five. I think I remember ordering three, but for some reason I have five of them. I have to double check, but whatever. But I got what I got. Um, also, I already pulled out a bunch of micro USB cables, by the way, because it was not properly fitting back in. Them. So also I have three Fluter wireless boards over here. Uh, again, the reason why I ordered three, I do not remember. It's like it's kind of funny. They are point to point. I don't think they can do mash, and I don't remember why I ordered three. It kind of doesn't make much sense. Maybe for a backup or something. I don't remember. Anyways, so let's take a look what it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Come on. So here we are. Uh, it's a it's a Fluter Wireless Early Backer Backer Special Edition. Of course, I mean I jumped on it pretty early because I thought I thought at the time it was pretty cool. Well, I still think it's pretty cool. Maybe not as current anymore. The prototyping thing. It's uh, Fluter Wireless. And it has some headers and antenna. So I ordered three Footer Wireless Pros, which uh, comes with better um, processor over here and uh, wireless antenna. Uh, because there is a Footer Basic, it has a uh, PCB, you know, onboard antenna or PCB antenna, just PCB little like, you know, um, PCB tracks antenna. This one has good uh, antenna, so probably going to be better range. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Uh, probably gonna zoom in a little bit more just to uh, get more details. So what can I say? I actually like this board pretty much because it's a nice white and on blue, dark blue silk screen or it's navy actually. Uh, so very nice writing over here. Uh, yeah. Neat. Has two buttons actually. I don't know what those buttons would do. Probably some. Re I I don't know. Like I st I still have to see how to use it and um, uh, how to connect it and things like that. And what it's actually gonna do. What it what it does out of the box. I have no clue. So hardware wise, it has several chips over here. Antenna connects uh, like this over here. So here's the uh, connect. Uh, Anyways, it, it, uh, I would solder it like that and headers or popular headers or maybe not, depends if I, how you're gonna use it. it. has USB, micro USB. It's supposed to have battery charging. It's supposed to have uh, encryption. Uh, so it, it's supposed to have IS chip for encryption. Um, uh, and this is a wireless transceiver chip over here. So let's look actually what kind of hardware we're we talking. So I printed over here uh, a specific specification for um, for this uh, for this um, footer wireless board. So I could not find really nice um, uh, spec like that. So I actually had to compile it myself. It's kind of surprise. It's not part of the on the. Uh, it's not listed really on their website. I don't know. Maybe everybody knows what's it what it is. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit more for you, for people to read. Okay. So. So what it is, it runs um, Atmel 80SAM uh, 3S2A, which has, which runs at 64 megahertz. It has uh, 32 kilobytes of RAM. Oh, uh, it's typo. Sorry, it's not <laughs> uh, one megabyte. It's actually 128 kilobyte. I'll scratch, scratch that, scratch that. 1024. Uh, 128. It has. Um, 10 digital IOS and five, 5 analog digital IOS. You can obviously see them over here. So the blue uh, or blue navy colored uh, pins over here or headers, they are um, connected to the MCU or, and this is Cortex M3. So the uh, RF transceiver is Texas Instrument CC1200. Uh, it works on all these bands. Thinking can support some additional bands, but that's uh, pretty much it. Can run up to 125 megabits per second. It supports 16 decibel uh, uh, power, uh, transmit power. Uh, it also has battery charging um, circuit over here, but apparently I just read a news that somehow there is a hardware bug over here and and uh, this battery charging uh, controller is completely bypassed. So essentially what happens, it goes directly from USB straight to battery, which is pretty bad because if you don't have battery protection, it can fry or explode or do whatever bad things. Also, it has a um, um, crypto cryptography chip to... Uh, I'm not really into cryptography, so I need to learn more on that, uh, to store your keys. So this is... At uh, again, at my shot 204A, uh, it's too confirmed because that's what I kind of reverse engineered myself, and I, I think uh, I think that's the one over here. This one, 
Um, then it uses 3.3 volt uh, regulator, uh, this one, MIC5235. So this is what I derived from their schematics, some of their bomb files and so their bits and pieces available on the internet. Right on this note, um, let's see what else do we have. Let's move this away. So uh, obviously, as you see, this is all identical. Oh yeah, I want to mention there is also a basic version of this which has less memory, and different version of this chip, but everything else pretty much the same. So and the PCB antenna instead of uh, stick antenna. Uh, okay, let's put this aside. So what is here? I think here is just uh, some prototyping board when you can actually lock some headers. And it, again, it's nice silk screening. I like it a lot. And you can probably put some headers, la la la, like this. And you then, you know, plug in your, use your, this DuPont jumper wires, just actually to connect it to whatever your hardware. So here's, I understand this is the battery, not working battery connector, so essentially it's uh, kind of useless. Um, but this is what we have. I'm curious though, what is, this some, what is that? What is this for? Yeah, again, I, I, I don't know, I think it's, um, it's a battery, this is a capacitor. Uh, they have interesting things unpopulated here. Uh, I think they are, for some reason, I don't know, is it supposed to populate some voltage regulator over here? Because there is this this particular thing looks like a uh, package for vertically standing, you know, regulator or transistor, like, I mean, uh, usually voltage regulator or some kind of This is for I don't know, plus minus, maybe for capacitor, maybe for some kind of battery leads to be soldered in there. There is a little teeny tiny package and populated here. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. Anyways, I need to learn more. Oh, this is even more interesting. I don't know what the hell is this supposed to be? Is this some sort of Bluetoothy thing supposed to be populated over here? It'll be pretty awesome if you can just populate some Bluetooth chip over, uh, I don't know, how do you call those boards and have a uh, this uh, flutter working on with bluetooth or wi-fi whatever uh, I, I do have several um chips uh, like that so it can be just you know soldered in here not sure if this is this what exactly is this for but anyways uh so i have five of these uh also some micro usb cables which i have i believe everyone has ton of them uh, lying around in the houses um, So what I can say, I mean, I'm really really impressed. This is just uh, there is nothing really technical in this video This is just a ad hoc review first impression You know you know, me being happy that I finally got it and uh, I say good kudos for the guy who actually delivered that This is really really rare that in four years you actually get your stuff the stuff you paid for or you know, stuff you support. Um, there is a website, uh, there is a community actually uh, uh, of people who play and do something with this stuff. There are some pretty cool, few cool projects I learned in like last day or so, or last two days. Um, so uh, you can do. Um, uh, I will, I hope I will get my hands on this and make some sort of uh, something useful uh, uh, out of this uh, Flutter wireless, but my interest these days is more into like um, sensors and um, you know IoT. So this somewhat IoT-ish. Maybe if I plug in some Bluetooth stuff here or some you know Wi-Fi, uh, pop populate some Wi-Fi chip over here, it'll be kind of interesting to have uh, to work this guy, for example, as the as the hub to talk to other Flutter wireless uh, devices. So, hope you guys like it. See you next time.